Do you want an affordable EDC knife with a few extras? 9 centimeters long, partially serrated, slip joint, belt clip, flashlight, bottle opener, window breaker, and a seedled cutter. There is also a fire starter, but I wouldn't count on it. All this for around $20, made by a company under Xiaomi's roof. Name's Alex Crane. And I actually do test the stuff I review. This knife, for example, I've been using for a few months now. And while even the steel was mentioned, if you're not some sort of knife aficionado, it's okay. There's a thumb stud to assist you with one hand opening. Unfortunately, it's not ambidextrous. And neither is the belt clip. If it's too stiff right out of the box, try lubricating the pivot. But it'll be still stiffer by design as slip joints have no locks and are held by tension. Swiss Army knives are probably the most popular and common example. Made out of aluminum, a little hefty, but great build quality and feels nice in the hand. The flashlight was probably what got me interested in this knife, as it's always handy to have a little bit of extra light and less risk of getting mugged than using your thousand dollar iPhone as a flashlight. It's not very bright and you won't be able to illuminate your surroundings at dusk, but good enough for very dark situations. It's also removable and has a magnet, so you can attach it to things. Powered by four AG1 batteries that are a pain to replace using hands only, I recommend taking a little bit of tape to make your life way easier. You probably saw Cybertruck's fiasco. Well, you don't need armored glass. It's pretty impressive how well cars can handle abuse. Undoubtedly cool. Uh, unless you're in an emergency. Here's when you'd wish you had one on you. Same with the seatbelt cutters. Jammed, stuck, or someone's in panic. Your time to shine. Want a cool one with your buddies? Don't even have to open your knife. The fire starter is probably the most disappointing part of the knife. You need to clear this black stuff first and you're supposed to use the blade's edge, which obviously will degrade it. Also, I don't see any spares being sold. Well, at 15 to 20 dollars, you could probably replace the whole knife. And while I wouldn't take it as my only knife for a long hike, for daily city use, it's more than enough. Hell, buy a couple and just place them in the glove box for emergencies. I hope you like the video, as YouTube prefers long ones, but I value your time. So likes and comments would help my videos get seen.